Hello everyone, and welcome to what has been an awful, awful week on F1 2012. And let's, let's have a look at why, shall we? Let's have a look at why. So it started on pole in Abu Dhabi. All was well, I was leading the Grand Prix, and I got crashed out at the first corner. So after spending the next lap and a half overtaking cars to get myself back in contention, not least of which this Force India, I then encountered this Red Bull, who for reasons unbeknown to me was lagging all over the place. So when I took evasive action to avoid him, he lagged in front of me. So at this point, I thought, right, he'll probably lag at the next corner again, so I can take it a little bit more aggressively. I take it more aggressively, oh look, he doesn't lag this time, and I smash him off, and I get a justified penalty. But why did he lag first time and then second corner just think, oh, do you know what? I'll actually be here this time and you'll hit into me and hit me off. That's a wind-up. That is a wind-up. So after getting done over by lag compensation in Abu Dhabi, I'm hoping to be a little bit more prosperous going into China's first corner. So I'm on the left-hand side of a Marussia car here and I've hit into him and uh, I've avoided too much carnage there, but I'm still pointing in the right direction, unlike a lot of cars in this lobby, but not anymore! Oh no, not anymore because I've been smashed round and there's... Oh God, I've been absolutely taken out here. And I'm down in P11, P12, and it's gone horse all over the floor. I don't know. I don't know how horse all over the floor is. I've got a penalty. I've got... I'm getting proper wound up now. Proper, proper annoyed at this. This, I'm getting so... I'm getting really wound up now. But you'd expect that to be a big enough dosage of bullshit for one race. But oh no, it carries on going through the second set here as the Torosso goes wrong. And I make a little bit of contact. I'm all over the place. I smash into a full seat. I got another f***ing penalty. And I'm proper annoyed. And I've hit the caterum there. And you'd expect that to be it. But no, it carries on into lap two. As I hit a ghost car. That car was a ghost. And I hit it. Explain. So it's been a pretty bad week so far, and next up is USA where I'm doing alright, I'm going on to the main straight now, lap 3 out of 3, I haven't had too much problems so far. Look in the bottom right there, I'm using 3 quarters of my bar of curves, absolutely blitzing it down this straight, you'd think no one could catch me, I'm just cruising this straight, no, no time to be gained or lost here. Some car comes from nowhere and absolutely cleans me out. How could he be so fast on that straight if I use 3 quarters of my bar of curves? Explain that to me as well, love to know. Love to know how I'm so slow. Next up is Malaysia, and can I avoid a first corner crash? Yes. 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 No. Bahrain is the next track I have the misfortune of trying to avoid a first corner collision on. And I'm P10 out of 10, so surely there's no danger of contact into this first corner. I'm just going to cut it nicely and drive away. Oh, for God's sake. Now, Bahrain had more to offer me in terms of agony for this race as we watch this corner cut. Now, let's just play that side by side with the lap one attempt at that corner. Lap three is the bottom left, and I get a corner cut, as you can see. Lap one is the top right, and I completely cut the corner and get nothing. So, how does that work? Moving on from the Bahrain corner cutting mystery, and I've actually survived the first corner in Monza. Now, let's see if I can have a good race. No, 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 I've been smashed off. So before I lost complete sanity, I attempted one last race on India. Now, I really needed to avoid a first corner collision here, or I was just going to turn my Xbox off and go offline. So am I going to avoid a first corner collision here? Yes. Yes, so far. No, no. Yes. Yes, I'm still going in the right direction. Yes, I'm still... Wait a second. Let's just go back and watch that again. There's a Sauber here that takes out a Caterham and then turns into a ghost and I drive straight through it. And then straight after, there's another Sauber taking out a Caterham. <laughs> I don't know what Caterham's did to annoy Saubers, but they really gave it to him in that first corner. But anyway, the most important thing is I've avoided a first corner collision, and I'm on for a good race. No. 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 So that was my pretty bad week on F1 2012. Hopefully next week we'll be more successful. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.